Okay, today under ammonia, I'll be going through the essential conditions needed for Haber process. The two factors that are considered to improve the yield for Haber process are temperature and pressure. The optimal conditions are pressure of 258 pm and temperature of 450 degrees Celsius and the pressure, presence of finely divided iron catalyst. You need to know that the Haber process is an exothermic reaction and the temperature of the surroundings will increase. To promote an exothermic reaction, the temperature should be low. However, low temperatures result in a slow rate of reaction. Do take note that this is very important. Exothermic reactions favor lower temperatures as it offsets the heat produced. Endothermic reactions favor higher temperatures as it offsets the heat required. The temperature used during the Haber process is 450 degrees Celsius. This temperature is a compromise as low temperatures will increase the yield but slow down the rate of reaction. Let's take a look at pressure. Higher pressure increases the yield of ammonia. However, higher pressure is more costly due to the thicker vessel walls to withstand the higher pressure. Therefore, the pressure that is chosen is 280 atm for Haber process. Why is this chosen? Because it is a compromise between the yield and the cost incurred. Lastly, catalyst. A catalyst is necessary for the Haber process as the activation energy for the reaction is very high. Catalysts used during the Haber process are finely divided iron. Take note, it is finely divided. The finely divided iron has an increased surface area over volume ratio, thus increasing the frequency of effective collisions and the rate of the forward reaction increases. So this is the forward reaction. The catalyst reduces the amount of activation energy required by providing an alternative reaction pathway and is not used up after the reaction. And that is two minutes of chemistry. See you next time.